Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Do you need to edit portrait photos? Do you find that you lack the skill or time to produce quality results? Then stick around as in this video, we will be comparing two photo editors which both utilize AI to improve portraits automatically. No editing experience required. So let's get right into it. The first competitor here is Radiant Photo. It is a product you probably never heard of as it was launched only late last year. I only found out about it because of this tweet by DxO. That being said, Radiant Photo has makers which should be more familiar and those are the makers of Perfectly Clear whose engine still powers Radiant. Perfectly Clear was quite an established editing app back in the day for their automatic image enhancement. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm glad it's still around and has a new life as Radiant Photo. Radiant Photo right now costs $143, which depending on how you value its feature set could be expensive or reasonable. Their tagline is, your photos deserve to be radiant. They promise superior quality photos with perfect rendition delivered in record time. It has some good reviews. This reviewer says this editor gets your photo 90 to 100% complete without ever touching a slider. Radiant automatically corrects all types of photos, but for this comparison, we will be focusing on Radiant Portrait, which according to the company, brings out the natural beauty in all your portraits. Just gotta love how marketing people describe their products. The second competitor is much more familiar, and that is Luminar Neo. Luminar Neo costs 199 USD lifetime, 79 USD a year subscription, and 11 USD a month subscription. They have had AI portrait retouching, which they call Face AI, since 2019 with Luminar 4. So for the longest time, they were the leader in this space of AI portrait retouching. Before we do the comparison, let's quickly see how we do portrait retouching with Radian and then with Luminar Neo. So how do we do portrait editing with Radian Photo? Pretty simple. First, drag your photos into the app. Next, click the desired photo to edit. Radiant Photo will automatically apply tone and color adjustments, which supposedly will be good enough that you don't need to do much more editing. You can remove this automatic adjustment by clicking the Quick Edit tab and dragging the sliders in the Smart Editing panel to zero. To access the Portrait Editing interface, click on the Detailed Edit tab. Next, click on the Portrait button. As you can see from the panel, the face has already been selected. The first adjustment we're going to do is to add contrast to the eyes, as the eyes are the first thing that people would look at. We do that through the Enhance Eye Slider. Notice that the Enhance Eye Slider applies the enhancement to the entire eye, not just the iris. Radiant Photo also supports the removal of dark circles and changing of the face contour. Now let's work on the skin. Moving the smooth slider removes any imperfections. If that improvement is not enough, Radiant also has a blemish slider you can use. Finally, let's whiten the teeth. Unfortunately, the AI masking is not perfect, as you can see here. So here is the before and after, and that is essentially how you edit a portrait in Radiant. Now let's move on to Luminar Neo. To edit a portrait in Luminar Neo, navigate to the portrait panel. To retouch the skin, move the amount panel. To get rid of blemishes, make sure skin defects removal is checked. 
Next, let's enhance the eyes. Unlike Radiant Photo, Luminar has three sliders for eye enhancement. Eye Enhancer, Eye Whitening, and Dark Circle Removal. Notice that for Eye Enhancer, unlike Radiant Photo, the enhancement is done just to the iris and not the entire eye. But the effect is pretty good. Okay, so now that we're done giving an overview of each of the software, let's now do a slideshow comparison. And at the end, I'll give my verdict on which app gives the best automatic portrait retouching performance. So I hope you enjoyed the slideshow presentation. As you've seen, both Radiant Photo and Luminar Neo are competent performers, and their results were not that far apart. None of them are perfect though, and editing with a full-fledged raw editor makes sense in many cases. That being said, who do I think was the better performer, Radiant Photo or Luminar Neo? The results were close, and I did have to give a second look. But in my opinion, Radiant Photo was the winner for three reasons. First, I think Radiant's eye enhancement feature does the eye enhancement more correctly by applying the enhancement on the entire eye, not just the iris. It focuses the viewer's attention on the eye a little bit more and retains strong detail, which makes for a more striking and natural looking portrait. I've also noticed that removal of dark circles in Radian does a better job of retaining detail on the lower part of the eye compared to Luminar, which blurs out the area a little bit too much. The second reason is Radiant Photo's skin smoothing and blemish removal is a little bit more accurate. For example, it didn't get rid of moles which Luminar consistently did. Also, compared to Radiant Photo, Luminar Neo's skin smoothing was much more prone to blurring adjacent areas of the face, like the ears and chin, which means the masking in Luminar Neo was less accurate than Radiant Photo. Finally, Radiant Photo's automatic tone adjustments did improve the exposure, contrast, and color in a pleasing manner and I think that should be considered a plus in their portrait enhancement feature set. So there you have it. That's the comparison of Radiant Photo and Luminar Neo. I hope you found this video helpful. Do let me know which one you thought the winner was. If you do AI-based portrait retouching, let me know what software you prefer. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.